Cocoa, the principal component of chocolate, is reported to contain more than 800 different compounds. This complexity makes HPLC with mass spec detection an important analytical tool. In this short study, we looked at a few compounds, polyphenolics and vanillin, found in cocoa by LCMS analysis. We chose Ascendus Express HPLC columns for their speed, efficiency, and ruggedness. The unique RP amid chemistry is ideal for these polar compounds. Shown here are the structures of the compounds that were examined in this study. The polyphenolic antioxidant compounds catechin and epicatechin, which have reported health benefits, and vanillin, which is a flavor enhancer added to many foods, including chocolate. This figure shows the extracted ion chromatograms of a dark and milk chocolate sample by monitoring mass to charge ratio 289.07. The analysis was run in negative ion mode on a single quadrupole mass spec. The column was a Centus Express RP amide. The two samples are shown on the same scale to show the different amounts of catechins in the two types of chocolates we analyzed. The observed ratio confirms liter literature reports that the darker the chocolate, the higher the levels of polyphenolic compounds. This figure shows a comparison of vanillin content of the two chocolate samples. Vanillin is a flavor enhancer that is added to many foods, including chocolate. Our results showed a higher level of vanillin in the milk chocolate sample, not surprising since vanillin is known to reduce the bitterness of chocolate. Ascentis Express fused core columns are well known for providing very rapid, highly efficient separations on any HPLC or UHPLC system. The example shown here for phenolic compounds in cocoa demonstrated the benefit of the RP amide phase chemistry to provide retention and separation of polar compounds. The resolution allowed us to see differences in catechin, epicatechin, and vanillin levels in two types of chocolates. An added benefit of Ascentis Express columns is their durability, which makes them less susceptible to fouling and therefore highly suited for the long-term analysis of natural compounds, such as those used in this study.